Hello my lovelies, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? I hope that you're having a wonderful day. No matter what you have been up to, I hope it's been super fun. If you are brand new to my channel, my name is Chloe. I'm otherwise known as Lady Rights and I'm thrilled that you're joining me for our unboxing video today. Please can I ask though, before we go any further into the video, if that's you, if you are brand new here, you click subscribe and you ring the bell. By doing so, my next video will land directly in your inbox as soon as it gets uploaded so you won't miss a single beauty advent calendar this season and trust me, there are many more still to come. In today's video guys, I'm unboxing the Molten Brown Beauty Advent Calendar for 2021, which has a gorgeous emerald green and gold theme. So obviously I matched it with my tie-dye top of dreams. Now, if you guys followed me on Instagram in lockdown, you will know I wore this top so much. It is like the tie-dye top of dreams. However, I got it like, I sized up twice when I bought it because I wanted it really baggy. And it is now so big, it, I think I could fit about three of me in this top, but it is still my winter and autumn favorite. Favorite. I absolutely love it. So I thought, you know, matchy matchy, I could get some sort of like green vibe going on here because that's how dedicated I am to my videos. Back to the calendar. This year's Molten Brown Advent Calendar will cost you £195 and has 24 items inside. As we all know, Molten Brown are the king, queen, the ruler. Should we go with ruler? They, they they just rule at Bath and Body products that are premium, scented beautifully, totally unisex, so there's something for everyone. And basically, if you're looking for a Bath and Body calendar this year that's luxe, premium, has enough kind of cult status products and some newbies in there to explore, I feel like this would be a great one for you. As ever, I will link in the description box if you want to pick it up. There's a few places stocking it at the moment. I will try and keep up with where is in stock as the video goes on. So hopefully if you do watch this, you know, a week, a couple of weeks after filming and you still want to get one, make sure you click the link and it will have the most up-to-date stock levels available. Other than that, I know that you're all here to see what's inside. So let's dive into the unboxing. Is this not super pretty? Look how festive it looks. I absolutely love it. Love the green vibes going on. It's got the cutest little theme running through it. So let's start with door number one. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love the Morton Brown baubles at Christmas. In fact, I still have one. I bought so many last year and I have made them like a super, super like special occasion treat for myself. But I still have one left over from last year and it's amazing. This is the Jubilant Pine and Patchouli Bath and Shower Gel, which I'm guessing might be their Christmas scent this year, but Oh my goodness. I mean, I always worry with pine that it's gonna smell like toilet cleaner. And it's very fresh, but that patchouli helps it like sit a little bit more sultry. Um, these are great, you can put them on your Christmas tree. Super, super festive, glittery inside, like that. Day number two now. Okay, and in here we have got the Molten Brown Jubilant Pine and Patchouli Eau de Toilette. This is nice. Oh, okay, so it definitely does smell the same, but I couldn't wear the first one as a perfume, but this one smells like something you can wear as a perfume as well. Um, I always love the Motton Brown Christmas Rangers. I think they're, they're lovely. Um, the Brandy one last year or the year before? Chef's Kiss, so good. Literally one of my favorite scents of a Christmas set, like range ever. It was amazing. I ended up spending an absolute fortune on eBay trying to find the candle because it was limited edition because I literally love that candle so much, so much. Moving on to day number three now. Okay, and in here, what is this? Oh, okay, I know what it is now. So it's like a little holder for your fragrances. That's cute. That's quite nifty, actually. I was like, what is that? But actually, that's a really good way of keeping vials like this secure because these go in my bag and they get smashed. And then, especially if it's in one of my designer handbags, that's not a good look because not only do they smell amazing, which is great, but they stain. So I'm glad we've got that. Day number four now. Oh, hello. We have got the orange and bergamot bath and shower gel. This is what I expect to find in the Mott and Brown calendar. I love these. You can never go wrong with them. That one, I love bergamot, literally because I am a migraine sufferer. So bergamot is actually one of the essential oils that's recommended to help with migraines and headaches. So I always have that around my house anyway. I think it's such a lovely fragrance, but with the added orange in there, it's really fresh and lovely. Always one of my favorites to have in the bath. Obviously these ones are the 100 mil travel size versions, guys. Day number five now. Okay, and in here we've got the Jubilant Pine and Patchouli. This is the body lotion and it's got a pump on it. I didn't expect to have the pump. I thought it'd just be a screw top, but I actually really, really like that. This again is the 100 mil travel size in there. Um, I can't wait to explore some more of this scent. This is obviously their Christmas scent for the year. It is very festive with that lovely pine running through it and the patchouli does just make it a little bit more indulgent as well, I think. So I quite like it. Day number six now. Ooh, what is this? 
Vitamin Lip Saver. Have never even heard of this. Did not know this was a thing. So it's basically a lip balm. Um, it's got vitamin E in there to, and beeswax to keep lips very, very soft. This is a new one from Mott and Brown on me. I'm impressed. Day number seven now. Oh, we've got another fragrance. This one is Fiery Pink Pepper. I love this one. One of my favorite of the bath and shower gels actually, because I think it's like, it's very warming, but w awakening as well. So it's great for the winter if you want waking up in the shower or in the evening, if you just want something a little bit like firesidey. I just really like it. It's one of my faves from them. So I love that we've got a little fragrance of that too. Day number eight now. Okay, and in here we have got Vibrant Body Oil. I've never tried a body oil from Mott & Brown. How crazy is that? This is the delicious rhubarb and rose one. Um, again, I can't believe I've never tried a body oil from them. Oh, that smells very nice. That is very... You can smell the rhubarb in it way more than the rose. And I always find roses a really overpowering scent, like quite strong. Like you can always pick up the notes of rose in anything, but actually it's the rhubarb in that. And rhubarb is very, very fresh. Always reminds me of like a winter garden or a summer garden. Um, but I absolutely really love that. I can't wait to try that. It does look like quite a watery oil, which is actually really good for me because then hopefully it will like, I use a lot of oil on my legs just to kind of keep them soft. So hopefully that one will work quite well. Moving on to day number nine now. Okay, and in here we have got a candle. Yay, love that. Okay, so we have got Got the delicious rhubarb and rose, the same scent as a candle. Um, have I tried burning this before? No, I don't think so. I always think with rhubarb, it is one of those scents that's great, like downstairs in your house, like in your kitchen, because it's such a kitcheny scent, isn't it? Like gardens or kitchens if you're making a crumble or something, but that one is definitely one that's gonna be going in my kitchen for sure. Day number 10 now. Okay, and in here we have got the Recharge Black Pepper Eau de Parfum. That one's definitely more masculine. I don't think I've smelt that one before. Definitely the sort of scent that a man would wear. I mean, you could wear it if you're a woman, but I definitely find that one's more masculine. And then the pink peppercorn one is probably the feminine alternative for it, I think as well. But again, that size is the, what size mil is that? 7.5 mil. Day number 11 now. Okay, we've got another 100 mil. This is the Coastal Cypress and Sea Fennel Shower and Bath Gel. Oh, always love that one. Super fresh, great for like, um, it always reminds me of like walks along the beach in the winter when it's really windy and really cold and you can still pick up the smell of the salt and stuff. I always think that this one's such a lovely one. Um, very unisex again, do quite like that about Mott & Brown. Like some of the scents are slightly more feminine or slightly more masculine, but generally speaking, quite universal all the way around. Day number 12 now. See, this is what we like, there's lots of things like this. We have got the Fiery Pink Pepper Fine Liquid Hand Wash, again with the pump, I like that a lot, 100 mil. The same lovely fiery warm scent. This is gonna go in my downstairs bathroom where I can actually enjoy it. Day number 13 now. Okay, and in here we have got, this is the Coastal Cypress and Sea Fennel. This is the Eau de, oh, Eau de Parp Toilette. That was like perfume toilette, I don't know which one. It's Eau de Toilette, it's the 7.5 mil. Again, not sure I've ever smelt that in the Eau de Parfum variety, but if it's the same, I will love it. Day 14 now. Okay, and in here we have got the bath soaps in this bath soaps salts in the same coastal and cypress and sea fennel variety. It's probably one usage there. You're probably not going to get more than one out, but that's a really nice way of trying them out and deciding if you want to rebuy afterwards. Can't beat a good bath salt to be honest. I always love it. It's like makes my house smell so lovely if I pour it under the hot water as I'm running a bath. Like my whole house will smell of it. Day number 15 now. Okay, in here we've got the mesmerizing Eau de Cordon Gold. This is the Eau de Parfum. Love that one. Very, very sexy. I think it was a candle. I've definitely had some scent of this before and I really liked it. Unisex, sultry, as well as slightly fresh, I guess. Um, it's really got lovely edges to it. I think most people will love this scent. And again, you can always use all of these scents in the holder to keep them looked after. Day number 16 now. Okay, and here we've got the Orange and Bergamo Body Lotion. Love that I can match that now with the shower and bath gel. I think that that is a great way to make sure that the scent is completely overwhelming. My entire body's gonna smell of it. I can have a lovely bath with it in. I can then use this, then spritz myself with the perfume. It's all round winner, guys. Day 17 now. In here, we have got the Delicious Rhubarb and Rose Fine Liquid Hand Wash. Love that we've got that, again, with the pump. Always think these little things make a huge difference. This is what sets apart calendars. Rather than just whacking everything in with a screw top, I love the fact that even the small bottles have got these on because that makes them really usable and just a little bit 
extra and you want extra in your advent calendar because that's what we all want in December right day number 18 now okay and in here we've got the fiery pink pepper hand cream I love the Martin Brown hand creams I mean I'm a girl who uses hand creams like there's no tomorrow like I use it so many times a day I keep them in my handbag on my desk at work in my car literally bedside table everywhere I always use hand creams so I can never get too many I'm not one of these people who finds them in like beauty boxes or anything like that and I'm like oh too many I love them um, these ones always absorb really fast they're non greasy non sticky um, this is a 40 mil so it will last quite a long time as well day number 90 now okay we have got an eye gel this is an anti-fatigue eye gel did not know that this was a thing from molten brown okay i like it uh, this is a 15 mil and it says for london via the barber shop a cooling under eye gel to energize tired eyes that is me my sleep is shocking at the moment um so i want to try that if it's going to help me with puffy eyes that look tired should be a winner day number 20 now okay we have got the flora luminar hand cream matching this is a 40 ml i don't think i've smelt this one before so let's have a little sniff oh my gosh i'm also sitting on the world's squeakiest chair today guys but that smells beautiful now i don't like floral scents in my perfume but i don't mind it in a hand cream and that is floral very very nice it smells like a spring day so i feel like in winter in december when we're opening the calendar i feel like that's gonna like help us to all be reminded of spring a little bit more day 21 now guys we have another candle this is the yes this is the oud accord and gold one this is the one i had before i love this in the candle version it's better in the candle version i think than the perfume not that there's anything wrong with the perfume but it is so sexy makes me think about going on holiday to somewhere like marrakesh I, I don't know why that's just the vibe i get and i've never been to marrakesh but i'd love to go um but yeah that's what that smells like super warming super sexy love it day 22 now okay in here oh my goodness we've got the matching this is the precious bathing oil and it's got flakes of gold in it novelties like this make a calendar special for me i like it a lot and it smells so warming and sexy absolutely love that that size is a 45 mil day 23 now okay and in here we have got heavenly gingerly this used to be my favorite scent from Morton brown when i hadn't tried too many and then realized how many lovely ones there are I still love it though. I had this in the bath um, and shower gel as my first ever product from Molten Brown. So I feel like I'm loyal to it because of that, but it is lovely. Um, very unisex again, feel like men and women could enjoy that one. Okay, and last but not least, day 24, Christmas Eve. Kind of sad that this calendar's ending. Okay, we have got a, another of the baubles. I love this one, although mine is broken on the top. Um, this is the Vintage with Elderflower Bath and Shower Gel, which is the limited edition Christmas scent that I love. I love elderflower. I mean, I like it in gin, but I definitely like it in my bath and shower gel. I think it smells lovely. There's a little bit of glitter in here. So when you put, put it in your bath, you come out nicely glistening. Your body looks super, super sexy. And it's just such a lovely scent. I love that. So guys, there we have it. That is the Molten Brown Advent Calendar for 2021 completely unboxed. What do you think about this one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Always love reading them as we go through the video. My thoughts are this. Bar sitting on the world's squeakiest chair for this video, this is my first Martin Brown calendar. Never unboxed one before. However, I do every year annually by myself the Christmas scents because I love Molten Brown and I love their Christmas scents. So this year's Christmas scent, um, the Jubilant Pine and Patchouli, very different to the last two years, actually. I think we had um, Jazz last year and then the Brandy the year before. I loved both of them. I thought they were fantastic. This one is very different. It's very fresh, but I love that the pine element is so festive. And we've obviously got so many of the products through the calendar of that. And of course, ending with the Elderflower Christmas one, which is amazing. Now for me, this is a really lovely calendar. It is perfect for Morton Brown fans, don't get me wrong. Like it's up there with the premium luxury price points. You know, when we're unboxing calendars around the 200 pound mark, I'm definitely like their premium and luxury. But there is a really good mix of products in here. I didn't know that they had things like the eye cream and the lip balm. I love the fact that we got the fragrance holder so that we can keep our fragrances safe and not risk breaking them in our handbags and lots of fragrances as well. We've got the gold products in there too. I just... I feel like there's everything in here that I love about Morton Brown. Like it's completely embodied everything you love about Morton Brown if you are a fan of the brand. So for me, it's a massive thumbs up. I really like it. You know, it's a one brand calendar, so you're only gonna get that brand in there, but there is so much versatility in the product. So absolutely thumbs up, Morton Brown. I think you've nailed it. Definitely like an eight out of 10 calendar for me. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's just a lovely one if you like bath and body products. Guys, as mentioned, I will link in the description box below where you can pick it up, but be quick. Once it's gone, it's gone. I feel like you're gonna regret 
regret this if you don't get it because it is so lovely but I'll link in the description box where you can grab it before it's gone. Other than that though thank you so much for watching today's video I hope that you've enjoyed it as much as I have and I will look forward to seeing you very soon for my next video. Bye!